Disney friends, I'm Lainey. And I'm Marshall. And today we're going to talk about book two in the Hunger Games series, Catching Fire. Basically takes place after Katniss gets out of the first Hunger Games book. Spoiler! I mean, she doesn't die. But you know, I would hope you would think that that was true since there's an entire series about it. So if you haven't listened to my review or have not, Read book one, you need to do that before or else there is major spoilers in this video. I am not, however, spoiling this book. <laughs> Only the first one, <laughs> okay? So, uh, we pick up at the end of book one where both Peeta and Katniss have survived the Hunger Games and they have to go on a tour of the entire countryside and they pretend like they're in love. Making it up for the tabloids. Yeah, and then they find out that every every 25 years, they have to do what's called a quarter quell, which means that all of the tributes who have survived all the Hunger Games are now in the pool to be picked to go into another Hunger Games. And of course it happens the year after they survive, so there are only three of them from their district that are have won. And of course, they won't let the other guy go in. So the two of them have to go back in. And at this point in the book, I remember the first time I read this, I was thinking, how in the world are they going to make this so it is not the exact same experience as what happens in the first book? And they did it. They freaking did it. I was floored by the mystery that happens in the games of how you have to figure out what is happening in this particular game. I, I honestly like this book better than the first one. Not saying a lot, but I really do like the relationship that a lot of the other tributes had because they've all been in this situation before. They now have to connect, like some of them do connect back together knowing that they have to stick together in order to survive even though at some point they might have to kill each other off. But they kind of all have this mission, right? So I, I don't know. I just, I like how it comes together. I like how there are so many surprises about how you have perceptions of some of the tributes, but then they completely turn on its head and they don't really act that way. It's really setting itself up for the third book. And I will be reading it one as well. There's a third book. There's a fourth book. <laughs> Well, the fourth book doesn't come after the third book. But anyway, so yes, yeah, so there's a third book. Pretty much the second book. And I didn't spoil it for you. Because I could <laughs> I did not actually get to... I did not read this book. I didn't listen to this book. But I did see the movie. And I did like the second movie better than I liked the first movie. For pretty much all the same reasons she did. Mm -hmm. A much more twisty-turny plot and much better characters, in my opinion. I agree. I definitely agree. So this book, I did give it four stars. Actually, no. No, I'm gonna give it five. Oh. I'm gonna give it five. Ah. How could you? <laughs> Smack you up the head there. <laughs> Smack me with that star. Uh, I'm gonna give it five. Please stay tuned because next month I will be reading a book number three, Mockingjay. I will do it all together. I will not be doing it like the movie where they break it apart. So thank you so much for watching and until next time. Stay zany. Bye bye.